Okay, we're headed to Tonto National Forest. We're gonna check out. Use the right two lanes to turn right onto Arizona 88 East North Apache Trail. Horse Trail Boondock area. A little bit outside of Phoenix. We had to get out of there, it was crazy. Uh, someone said that Apache Trail, that's the name of the road, is one of the most scenic roads in the country. So we'll see. We'll see. Lots of cactus, cacti. Uh, this is more like it. Driving in the Phoenix area was crazy. It was nothing but strip all. As far as I could see, every area looked the same. It was the same strip mall shop. Goldfield Ghost Town. Looks a little commercialized. We might check that out. It's a ghost town. But I don't see any ghosts. So for those not in the know, um, see once you hit the forest, National Forest boundary, typically you can disperse camp anywhere off the road. Unless it's posted, legally we should be able to camp, disperse camp anywhere. But we're going to go to one that was on a free campsite right now just to make sure we get there before dark. You do not want to be looking for spots out here in the dark. Wow, that is it's pretty scenic. We're having no trees. Oh. Turning in, it looks crowded. Let's see. thing you can drive around a long time before you find a spot so it's a big just one big open area not very private Ugh. it's like a big group campground all right let's see if we can find a spot because I don't want to be driving late at night all right that's it and that's pretty much it And then it goes back around. Not the dispersed camping I'm used to, but we'll check them out and see what else is out here. I guess this is what you can expect when you're really close to a town. I might keep going and see what's down the road. So that area felt was really full and it didn't feel comfortable. And this is why I need to learn not to head out late, to head out in the beginning of the day not to go find a new campsite after I do errands. I always do that. When once I'm done with my errands, I say, oh, let's go, let's go. I didn't want to sit in the parking lot in Walmart again, but we may have to go back. Oh, Lordy. this one out but it says no camping on Ward Hill. So this is the kind of thing that happened to me a lot in Oregon um, without even with map it's just trying to find a spot you got to start during the day on it. During the, it's very pretty but we might end up back at Walmart. It's Apache Trail Road. Um, get nervous the sun's going down. It's Canyon Lake. So this is how you find the ones that are private but it can take a lot of driving. Camping signs everywhere. This could be a long drive, Oni. This could be a long drive. We might be in California before we find a camping. I don't know what it is. I think it's closed, but it's kind of cute. Like an old western. Oh, that looks authentic. Yeah, gotta quit doing this at night. Here's what it looks like when I'm looking. 
home for dispersed camping at night. One is getting scary on It's very dark. Okay, we may have found a spot. We'll see if anyone's here. Forest Service Road 80, it says on the description, but there's someone here. We're just going to park. We have to park. It's dark. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Hey, everybody. So we found a spot on the Apache Trail. That was intense. We, we tried a bunch of different spots. It's kind of a rush. I must like the thrill of the search. But we found a little spot. There's a little area out here off the road. And uh, there's just a few campers here. So I like that. As long as they're not axe murderers, some can hear us if we scream. And we were able to tuck back in. We backed in right in between some bushes. So uh, we always back in. In case anything happens, we can take off. We got to decompress, but it's really peaceful. We can see the stars. It was so hazy down there in um, Phoenix. It was crazy. That was crazy. So it's quiet. We could even leave our back window um, uncovered and see the stars tonight. All right, we're going to go decompress now. We're somewhere in the Tonto National Forest. And we found a spot. And that, my friends, is dispersed camping in a forest. Good morning, everybody. It's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. She's ready. She's ready. So I just want to say one of the nice things or the flip sides about finding spots at night when you can't see. So there are challenges because you can't see. You don't know where you are. Um, but it's always a surprise in the next morning. So it's fun. The fun One of the fun parts is when you wake up in the morning, you get to find out, discover where you are. All right, so let's go see. Let's go see. Okay, hey, baby, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hey, good morning. Sunshine. Good morning. See. All right, we're going. We're going. Oh, yeah. Let's go see. Aha. Okay. She's like, Mom, can we go? All right. Yeah. Okay, let's go see. And here we are. <gasps> oh, honey, look how pretty. This is so beautiful here. Okay, so there's only one person here. It's been really quiet. We have these gorgeous views. You can't see very well because the sun's behind us. Gorgeous views. I'll show you. It's very beautiful here. It was a perfect spot. Oh my goodness. This was a gorgeous sight though. Gorgeous. So this Apache Apache Trail Road is beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, but we have to go back to Phoenix. My phone is not holding a charge when unplugged. And also we didn't have cell service. So we'll take some footage coming out. And it's back to Phoenix. Back to Phoenix we go.